Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg, Basic Sorgonomics, uh, right here on Sorgatron.com. Uh, please, if you haven't yet, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, it's Friday that this is going to go out, and there will be uh, some sort of write-up that I tend to do once a week, uh, whatever is on my mind. Uh, and of course, this is my comfortable place, isn't it? it uh, right here behind the microphone, not so much the righty part, uh, but I'm trying to make sure I do have that component as well. Thank you, everybody that's been giving me guest posts as well. And about that comfort level, you know, uh, that that's uh, what I want to kind of get into today. So uh, we talked about this briefly, I guess a little bit of extent, a few year, a few weeks ago on uh, Power Hour, which, man, we, we missed one last week, which really bugs me a little bit, even though that's the 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 not big podcast that we do but uh looking at that uh so so there's a concept that we came up about appreciation and about and, and this isn't a bug for you to go rate my podcast or anything like that this is kind of in general um if you, especially because a lot of us if you're listening to this you probably dig a lot of content online a lot of us listen to podcasts and listen to user made material whether it be local to you know for us here in Pittsburgh or or just like hey here's some guys talking about a wrestling wrestling on a podcast or here's these guys doing this comedy podcast and they're not you know they're not Kevin Smith they're not Chris Hardwick like they're like just some guys trying to make it you know even if you'd think like well they've been on Comedy Central like still still this this applies and it's that appreciation concept um the the phrase we came out from that was be a fan out loud uh even if you know it's just hey really dug the podcast this week and you hit them up on twitter or or something like that or you do put that comment in there on itunes um i don't think people know how far that goes especially when somebody's you know pulling together stuff trying to figure this out not really making money because uh, more so these days People creating content are not going to get rich from the content. You know, hopefully they make a working range, right? Uh, that's what I'm working at doing, you know, and, and the stuff I have to take on, you know, is the less fun, you know, stuff to supplement my podcasting habit. But the podcasting habit got some of the work. So it works in my case, at least. And some people are just doing it for fun. Maybe some people are trying to do it to build it something bigger than than just a podcast that they're doing. Um, and how how like for me i i really kind of i don't know there's a lot of mental stuff that i've kind of done to myself over the years uh damage i don't know uh there especially uh the, for a period there when i had nobody coming in the studio that's why i get that's why i get i i tease people with pizza and bring them in the studio because there's a certain thing that happens here uh, and then we talked about yesterday i was on periscope talking about the disconnect with technology and you're connected but you're not right uh for a period i was doing these podcasts and i'm sitting here i'm doing four podcasts a night and i'm talking about how many people all over the place but at the end of the day there was like i'm just here alone in my basement you know and and uh that little disconnect that happens and even to the point, and I don't know if this is what I converted around to, and looking at the numbers and, again, stats I haven't done in several months, and I, I barely know how many people are out there except for that big spike that happened on YouTube uh, a couple of weeks ago but for a couple of things. But uh, it, it, in my mind, and I, this probably sounds weird, in my mind, I have a set switch that nobody is listening. I post this stuff every day. And, and and there's that kind of concept when you're starting a podcast. Don't look at your stats for the first couple of months. If you see it and you see like 10 people downloading it, you're going to get discouraged. Even though, holy crap, 10 people downloaded and listened to what the heck you had to say. It's significant, right? You only have a couple hundred. It's significant. Our numbers, you know, are, jeez, what are we? Just a few thousand maybe for the Wrestling Mayhem show every month. Not day, not a week, which is... Because you need like 5,000 per episode per week in order for somebody to even consider you for broad advertising networks, right? We're not near that, right? But we have enough to have a community. It's a dedicated community, a portion of that. And, and you look at like, hey, 20 people are really active over here. Great. That means there's 2,000 there listening to you. Whatever that – I haven't figured out that math yet. But also this kind of helps me. I'm not doing it to, yes, I have the community, and, and it's like, cool, okay, we have that community, they're involved, but still, I still think, in my head, I keep telling myself, oh, nobody's listening, I'm just doing this, I'm just doing this, it's helping me, 
It's helping my friends. It's doing. I'm doing it. I try to turn that off when I'm saying, hey, come on to my show. We have a bunch of people that listen. Because we do. We honestly, we, we do. But it's also, for me, and a, a very disarming and very, you don't know how appreciative. When I get an email, I'll say, hey, I listen to the show, da, 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 something, 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 let's have coffee. Or, hey, uh, I'm at a wrestling show and somebody comes up, so like, oh, that's our mayhem show. Like, yeah, sometimes I wear my own shirts to shows because it seems to make sense for a wrestling show, right? I might as well be a billboard. Uh, and I've had uh, the same guy come up to me at a VOW show and when I was working up in Niles for a wrestling show as well. Uh, and I and I feel so bad because I'm horrible with faces to begin with, right? And if it was just a passing encounter. Somebody ran into me at Raw in the crowd and listen to the show and they're wearing an Andrew Palace shirt. So I know they go to the local IWC shows. So they know me from there as well. Cause I'm around and you probably don't want to talk to me at wrestling shows because I probably look really stressed out for good reason. Cause I'm doing all the production stuff, not all the production, stuff, but I, I mean, I do the setup and I'm the main guy and stuff, but, but that really carries a lot of weight, you know, uh, especially since uh, there's a very close knit, between the tech side when i had somebody from google i was talking about it's like oh yeah i know awesome cast like somebody from google knows the awesome cast that's amazing you know uh or 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 being uh at a diner on the north side and and somebody who i had talked to several months ago uh at at, at a coffee club uh, that I, i think i was talking to about the podcast and what i was doing and stuff and 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 they're like oh hey uh you know from the thing and i'm like yeah yeah i remember you one of the few faces i actually recognized it was like i've been listening to your podcast it was like all right and i'm just like we're in this diner and i'm just like everybody knows i do a podcast now you know uh it, it, it's very very surreal and it doesn't happen often, but because of whatever that mentality is that I've developed, um, maybe it carries more weight, and that motivates me even more. You're not going to hear from everybody. You're not going to. There's a vocal minority, right? If you got one person who's your biggest fan that you've never met before, and they say I listen to all your shows, or I never miss one, or 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 they have an opinion about your show. Again, that means 10, 100, a, a bigger number. If you're getting uh, uh, 200 downloads to your podcast every month and you're, and, and you're asking for emails, you never get emails. That's okay. It's going to take, it takes a lot. We talk about introverts on here sometimes. We talk about people out there who just may be passively listening. You know how many times I listen to a podcast in a car? And you got to think most of these people, they're probably doing it while they're doing something else. So for you to have said something, That has so motivated that person to drop what they're doing because they're probably listening to you on a podcast doing something else to say, I'm going to write them an email or I'm going to send them a tweet. A tweet's probably a little easier. Hopefully you're not driving. That is something pretty special that somebody responded to my goofy contest that I came up with this week on the Wrestling Mayhem show. One person, one person so far, at least I really hope there's more. Uh, always, always, you know, that person, you know, got to step up and I don't think I've gotten an email from that person in maybe a month or two. And maybe he's been a little bit active on the, on the, uh, uh, Facebook group that we have, but that's about it. Right. Uh, but they, that they stepped up and did that. It's like, all right, you got something here. You know, you don't, you're not going to get the mass appeal, even like the, the shows that I know that have, 5,000 Patreons and stuff. They only get so many emails. Don't feel so bad when you're a podcast getting 200 hits. Only gets an email a month. Or none at all. It's cool. So, pretend nobody listens. Do it for yourself. But be gracious when those guys pop up. We'll see you guys next time. This is going to do it for the week for Basic Sorgonomics. Have a good holiday. I don't know what that's going to do to our schedule next week. Uh, well, actually, I probably won't affect Basic Sorgonomics. I'm just going to rejigger some other things going on in my life. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Sign up for the newsletter, please, at Sorgatron.com or SorgatronMedia.com. Check out all the other podcasts. Um, if you're not tired of hearing my voice already, uh, please go check out more. There's somewhere other people host, and it's less me. Boss Battle Fishing Without Bait, Educational Grand Rounds. I can suggest those ones to get away from me. Um, That was weird. We'll see you guys next time.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.